Hello guys and welcome back to Star May. We're gonna do a quick tutorial on a uh, active counting system that I had come up with and I showed this in my previous episode but basically what it is is it's a system that counts every time you activate it. Now we're not going to go into details about the scoreboard and like I said in the episode I stopped at three. I didn't continue on to the rest, and it has a reset. And it should start at zero, but as you can tell, that didn't work out so good. So let's go ahead and come over here, and we're gonna do a tutorial on how to how to build that. All right. First things first, we're going to add a button. You know what? Let's take the button over here. <laughs> Excuse me. And uh, we're also going to need a reset button. So let's go ahead and put that over here. All right. So what we have, we've got that button's going to connect to a flip flop. Let's go over here. We'll make this as compact as we can. And that flip flop's gonna connect to an AND signal and it's gonna connect back. Okay. The flip flop's also gonna connect to a activation module. And the activation module is gonna connect to the AND signal. Okay. Now, this is a stackable setup, um, and this is the initial circuit itself, and we have to add in a, um, a connecting circuit, and that doesn't connect to there, sorry, this connects to the end. Okay, so let's start that over again. All right, so you have the activation and the reset. That's going to connect to the AND signal. The AND signal is going to connect to a NOT signal. The NOT signal is going to connect to the activation module. And the activation module is going to connect to the AND signal. And this is actually going to connect there. So what we need is we need all three of these to be active in order for this one to activate. Once it activates, it's going to switch this one so it can no longer be activated. So the activation uh, button is going to be connected to every AND signal on the circuit. And we're going to build this upward. Um, as you can see over there. I built it sideways um, in a couple other attempts to do tutorials. I built it upwards, and that's what we're going to stick to. So here's your basic circuit. And for the reset, the reset's going to connect to the flip-flop. I may have called that a not signal. I've had a habit of doing that, but it's a flip-flop. Okay, now for the connection circuit. The connection circuit, oh, let me go look at this. Yeah. Okay. So the connection circuit is going to be very simply a delay. That delay is going to connect to a knot. Okay. And then the knot signal is going to connect to the very next one the very next circuit which is going to be an AND signal basically this is telling the, the system that uh, this circuit has processed initiate this one next okay so we connect that to the AND connect the AND to the flip-flop and the flip-flop is going to connect back to the AND and to a activation module and then the activation module connects to the end 
and then it repeats itself. So we got the delay, the not, not connects to the very next end. And then this one connects to there, and so on and so on. So let's go ahead and finish this up. And there we go. All right, so like I said, this, the reset, is going to connect to all the flip-flops. As you can see right now, it is not set. You hit the reset there, all lit up. You hit the button once, it turns the first one off. So basically, if you were to take each one of these, and this is kind of how I went about it over there, and did that, and then so on and so on. Oh, that one would be on. And then the third one doesn't activate anything. All right, so let's go ahead and reset it. Lights are off. Activate it once. You got one score, two score. Um, another option is to if you want these to turn off is to add a reverse signal circuit which I did over here where each one is activated by an activation module and as soon as the next one activates it turns that one off Whoop. So it's actually a very simple circuit, um, but can be used in a whole lot of different ways. Um, upcoming videos, you're going to see how we are going to use this to implement it into a game that I have come up with. And, well, it's not a game that I came up with. It's an old game that I'm going to try to build in StarMade. So that's it. Um, one thing that I'm finding a drawback is uh, in a PvP scenario or a scoring system scenario, if you activate this a couple times and reset it, as you can see it didn't reset because all these flip-flops should be active for it to be back to 1. So, you actually have to cycle to the entire point system before it is resettable. So, um, I got an idea to fix that, but we're going to go ahead and do that in a later tutorial. I just want to basically get this out there, showing it and showing what it can be, do, can be used for in that way. But like I said, it can be used for in so many different ways. So hopefully this will help somebody. Um, I'm going to call it an active counting system. But I'm really not sure what it would be. So it's more of a scoreboard or scoring system. So yeah, well, that's going to be it. Just want to make this quick, simple. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.